Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Mariah Amanda and we have Paco here chilling with us today too. Um, so I just wanted to do something quick and easy for eyeshadow. Um, I actually kind of have to leave pretty soon. But I decided to use the Persona palette again. Um, so this is beautiful for brown um, eyes, which I have hazel eyes, so it does bring out the brown in them, which is beautiful. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. <laughs> Okay, so I've already set my, <clears throat> pardon, <clears throat> so I've already set my concealer with just some loose powder. Um, I'm going to go in with the shade Humble, which is in the top left corner, it's right here. It's like this cream, cream, cream skin color, it's like my skin. So I forget which colors I used last time, honestly. It looks like I kind of did the these two colors right here. So I'm going to go in to the ones to the left of that. So Charming is just this like good brown transition shade right here. And I'm using a E35. Just something nice and blown out and fluffy for the shadow. <clears throat> So this month's One Week One palette, I used the Soft Glam palette, and I've gotten so many comments, and it's just been so encouraging to kind of like have some kind of like, um, not feedback, but feedback about how like people are liking my videos and how they like the makeup that I'm doing. So it's just been, it's like every day I have one or two people that are commenting, um, on one one specific video there it is on other videos as well but um it's the one where I do the rose gold where I mix the two shimmery shades so I can like pop that in a in a card up top um so you guys can see that if you want but yeah so it's been really encouraging to kind of see that um because it is a lot of work, you know? It's not just like, oh, you film and you just throw it up on the internet, you know? Um, specifically because this is not my, like, job yet. Like, I do have a full-time job that I do. Um, I like that. Um, I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush, an E25 from Sigma, and go into Audacious, which is this color. Um, and then we're going to use this, like, beautiful coppery color. I haven't worn one of those in a long time. Um, when I first started wearing makeup, I wore silver. Pretty much. That was it. Um. Man, these are pigmented. It's so funny how, like, um... We don't really notice, like, our skills changing, but, like, if you do something, you know, for long enough, you get better at it, you know? And so just to think about, like, I've always loved makeup, not to the degree that I love it now. Like, I didn't even know what a Sephora was or an Ulta before I started watching uh, YouTube makeup videos. Um... Like, I was all drugstore. Like, I think I even used to buy my makeup at the supermarket. So, at, like, Stop and Shop or whatever. But I always remember when I went shopping, grocery shopping with my mom. Like, I would go down those aisles and I would, um, look through the makeup there, you know? Um, so that's just kind of cool to think about. I have actually not thought about that in a while, so... Cool. So I'm going to take that charming shade, the brown, with a brush and go along my lower lash line. <laughs> Someone's using a chainsaw outside. Okay. 
one thing I love about our new house is that we live, um, we live on a side street, so that's really nice, um, and I love the birds. Like, they just, like, chirp outside the window. It's beautiful. So something like that. And then I'm just going to go in with... I'm always, like, paranoid it's not blended enough. But this eye is the one that doesn't take pigment in that area, which is just so weird. I mean, it does, but it's, like, fighting a losing battle. <laughs> Okay, um, let's just, I washed all my brushes, now I have too many choices. Um, I guess I'll just use the Sigma one, an E55 um, shader brush. I don't remember whether I used Fix Plus last time. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Um, I'm just gonna go in without it. I'm super like clumsy and groggy because I literally woke up, um, put like my base makeup, you know, like brush my teeth, put my base makeup on, that sort of thing, and then was like, I'm gonna film a video. So, oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, look at this color. <gasps> oh, it's so good. I love it. Oh, that's so gorgeous. This would look beautiful with like blue eyes too. Because coppery tones go good with contrasts. So for me, I have like hazel eyes. So the colors that really make them pop are um, colors that are like opposite. So um, on the color wheel. So, like I know olives really bring out the tones in my eyes, even though that's kind of the same thing as what my eye color is. Um, purples, too. Uh, purpley colors are really good for brown eyes. Um, so I'm just going to take a clean brush and kind of just... Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking the brush where we used Audacious, which is this color. No extra product and just kind of just blending it along the edges of that lid shadow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Sassy and put it. Right here in the inner corner. So I got totally distracted and never finished talking about the makeup thing. But yeah, so I, yeah, so I used to thinking about that, like, wow, just like how my love of it has changed and like what, like how awesome that is to share it with someone, you know? Um, I want to try to convince some of my friends to come let me do their makeup because I'm not good at doing other people's makeup because I've never done that but that's something that I want to do so um see if I can do that even if the whole point part that I'm doing the makeup is like a voiceover I feel like it would be super cool to do that Okay, mascara is all done. So, yeah. I just want to say I really love this palette. And if you kind of have brown or hazel eyes and um, you're looking to kind of get started, I feel like this would be something that is really beautiful to start out with. Um, from all, You can get it at Ulta.com. So, it's so cool. It has a mirror in it and everything. Yeah, so I would totally recommend that. My hair is kind of, the one thing about letting your hair air dry is like sometimes it like goes crazy on you. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!